understand. We are destroyed because of this lying ass image and the destruction of slavery that took that took place upon our ancestors. I'm gonna ask you something. They say what about the youth today? What do they say about the youth? That we crazy. That we what? Hey, what you say? That we thugs. What else? Hey, another one. A, a, a white woman says super predator. They say super predator. What does it say about the youth today? Man, this is a damn society, right? How would you like to hear and low, know and understand the reason why the youth are the way they are today is because of slavery. Because we are destroyed as a people. And we don't know how to be a nation. One thing they do say as well, the youth is the next generation, right? So look at our youth. And look forward to our future as a generation of people. We destroy. How do you fix it? Read the Bible. Come on. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. Read. My people. What? My people. What you have not understood is because of this lying ass image that Christ is not right. You've been bred to think that all people is one people. One nation under God. That's a damn lie. Your enemy knows who they enslaved. Your enemy knows who they raped, robbed, and murdered and took their heritage from them. What's your last name? The name of a white man. What's your last name? That's not your God-given name. You are the Jew. You are the Israelite. Read how we destroy. Come on. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because we don't know and have a sense of knowledge. A sense of self. You don't know who you are. By us looking at each other, we can tell we don't know who you are. You understand that? And we're here to help you with that. Because that's what we're doing now. God's people are the Israelites. Your ancestors, who we are. We are destroyed, huh? For a lack of knowledge. What does it mean, brother, when you lack something? What does it mean when you lack something? You lack a million dollars. I'm going to tell you that right now because you ain't got it. You understand that? We lack the true wisdom and riches of knowledge of God. That's right. We don't know who God is. You know how you know that? You think this is God. You think this is Christ. The image behind the image comes what? A doctrine, a message behind it. They taught you Christmas. They taught you Thanksgiving. They taught you the lying ass Easter don't even lay, buddies don't even lay eggs. They taught you Valentine's Day. They taught you this bullshit and, and took your heritage from you. You understand that? We got to get back to who we are. Read again. This is very important. Because look, due to slavery, from slavery, now you can understand how they indoctrinated you and what did they indoctrinate you from. We knew our laws. We knew what it meant to marry a woman and not make you a hoe. And marry you, you understand that? We knew what it meant to be a man and not selling drugs on the streets. Why? Because we had jobs in the community. You wouldn't have to go to destroying your own people. Read on, come on. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Because we reject knowledge. Now we're going to show you what knowledge is. So you can get back on track. Because I'm going to tell you something. When Jesus Christ, a black man of the tribe of Judah, yes. when he walked this planet with his brothers, the 12 disciples, they was around the streets of those that was in captivity, teaching, not this line BS right here, right. they was teaching his people. That's why they killed Christ, because he only cared for his people. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. If Jesus Christ died for everybody, why the hell they kill him? Ask yourself that. Read, come on. Malachi chapter 2, verse 7. Remember, please, lips, remember, I, I want to rekindle the thought. We are destroyed because of lack of what? Knowledge. knowledge. What is knowledge? They say knowledge is power. We're going to show you, black man and black woman, what your power is. What is power? What is knowledge? Come on. For the priest lives should keep knowledge. And they should, look, the pastors should keep the knowledge, right? The priest's lip is the representative of God, right? Joe Osteen, not Joe Osteen. Uh, T.D. Jakes, not T.D. Jakes, right? Uh, Quavo Dollar, they don't teach you the knowledge of God. Bring it Because our brothers and sisters sell drugs out here like hell. The drug dealer giving the drugs to the um, damn pastor today. Bring it out. That's what they're doing. They got a song, God bless the dope dealer, right? God ain't blessing you if you destroy your people, brother. All right. That's Satan blessing you. The white man got you thinking, as long as you're in your sin, the old white slave doctrine, 
you go die and, re and receive white man Jesus heaven. Right. If you get to heaven and a white man is there, that's hell. That's right. Come on, man, read this. What is knowledge that we were stripped from? Read. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. A true priest, not like these lying pastors today, should what? Keep knowledge. That's where you're going to find the knowledge of God. You understand that? That's where what? Knowledge is power. Now you're not ignorant, bro. You understand that? You know the truth. Read. And they should seek the law. What is knowledge? The law. What is knowledge? The law. We didn't get with the top. Yes, sir. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Bring it out. They should seek the law at his mouth. So what is God's knowledge? Bring it out. His law. Come on, bro. Give me some. Common sense. Look, you know way more than a damn lying white man in his doctrine. You understand that? So now, the law of keeping life in our community. What law is that? Thou shalt not kill. Now you understand why we are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. I'm going to show you what Jesus Christ, who he preached to. Give me Luke chapter 4, verse 17, bro. Because that's what we're talking about. We're doing the same things that our ancestors did. And that's your job, black man. You must stand up. Then give me Ezekiel 22, verse 30. Read this real quick. Come on. Luke chapter 4, verse 17. We're going to show you what type of time Christ was on and his disciples. Because you're looking at his disciples now. I'm looking at God's people right now. Right. Come on. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. Christ read out of the book of the book Isaiah. Isaiah. We had books back then of our records. We read earlier how we had images. But the white man came and painted his faces over our dark images. You understand that? Come on. Luke 4, 17. And there was delivered unto him the book of Isaiah. Uh -huh. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. Uh -huh. And the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Look, when you see men out here teaching for the sake of their people because we love you, we want you to understand the sin that you're in will bring you death. We love you more than you love yourself. All right. And we kind of show you we used to do the same bullshit you did, and we changed it. You understand that? And we're trying to get you to learn and teach yourself how to repent and save your soul. Because the ways of how you move in your life right now, it will bring death. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 